Hi everybody, this is David Pritchard, your health and wellness coach. Welcome to the Healthy Minute. I wanna talk about sleep and just how important sleep is um, in the sense of recovery, renewal, and even anxiety. As we look at the five dimensions of well-being, when we, we've talked about purpose, having a, a strong why, a conviction to getting healthy and staying healthy and staying uh, focused in on your goals. And number two is balance, right? And, and embracing your reality and understanding what you're capable of and don't overwhelm yourself and uh, have no judgment if it's not a perfect day. That's okay, we're having a lot of non-perfect days but just one or two things every day. And then third is uh, the awareness of health, right? How do you feel checking in with yourself? I don't feel so good today, why? Uh, and then uh, putting a plan together and then nutrition and movement, eating well and moving more. But when we think about sleep, it ties into all five dimensions and it's sleep unfortunately just doesn't get enough attention still, even though we've, we have put more focus on it in the last couple of years on, um, getting healthier and being and, and feeling better. But it's still, um, I think especially now, uh, under the circumstances and the challenging times we're in, um, it, we have to really truly understand rest and then surrendering to you know the end of the day, the nighttime and saying to ourselves, there's nothing more I can do anymore. I've lost my creativity. My, you know, I, I can't really even think anymore. So maybe I do need to veg out and maybe watch a show or read a book or play a game or, Meditate, sit in silence. And all of those things contribute to your healing and your repairing and renewing yourself each and every day to get ready for another day. Um, but more importantly too, it starts to transform you to a, um, uh, a focus on lying down at the end of the day and going to sleep. You know, and we need to really truly understand seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours of sleep a night. I know it sounds like a lot, but that's where our body repairs itself. That's where we renew ourselves. That's where our body's, um, you know, REM activity is going to go in and just, you know, make us feel so good when we wake up the next day and go after everything. Even though when we wake up, we're waking up with all of our thoughts, right? We're waking up with all of our anxiousness and our anxieties. But we have to remind ourselves, if we don't have that rest, that, that, that restfulness, that sleep, um, it's only gonna compound everything because we're gonna be fatigued, we're gonna be tired, and we're not gonna have that creativity to maybe find the solutions we're looking for to get ourselves out of some challenging situations, whether it's work or something going on in the, in the household or um, whatever that might be. So I encourage all of you is to look at your sleep routine and just ask yourself, how am I feeling when I wake up? You know, am I exhausted? Uh, and how do I feel when I go to bed? You know, surrendering to the, 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 the fears and to the, the mindset of, you know, your worries. Can't do anything about them. Just let them go. But what you can do is get the sleep and the restfulness so that you can go on that next day and, and have that energy to thrive. Okay? So a couple things here. Seven, eight, nine hours of sleep a night. Set your nighttime routine, no electronics, read a book, meditate, listen to a really cool podcast or something that relaxes you. No news, no news. Um, and then second is, how are you winding down at night? You know, are, do you have the ability to not work at night? Can you try to get it all done during the day so at night you're focusing in on, um, on things that contribute to your self-care? You know, playing games, connecting with friends or family, virtually and in person, um, maybe watching a favorite TV show, listening to some music, doing you know things like that that contribute to your renewal for the next day. So continue, it takes practice and you have to protect it more than anything. We have to protect those, those routines now more than ever. All right, guys, stay connected. Let's all hang in there. We're gonna get through this together, but um, take care of ourselves, okay? All right, most important thing right now is self-care. Be well.